I'm Champ Chong, it is Wednesday and I'm feeling a little bit sick, but I'm gonna get through it for you guys. And now, here is the clip of the day. Why did they move their hair? G'day guys, welcome to the Wednesday edition of the show where I report on the latest in gaming news and today I'm a little bit sick. Also, I got this thing on my lip, what the, what, I don't even know. Anyway, if you do go on to enjoy today's video, please be really awesome and smack that like button harder than ever before. But now to jump into the gaming news, GTA 5 has had a new screenshot revealed. Now this screenshot hasn't been officially released if you know what I mean, but yeah, it's out there now. Basically what it does show is a bunch of cops chasing one of the main characters up to the Vinewood sign and the character that's in this screenshot is Trevor. Yeah, you know, the crazy one. Now, if you guys do want to check out the screenshot, I may or may not have linked it down below. And just so you know, I am sorry that I can't show it to you on this video, but legal reasons can be a bitch. But anyway, in some more Grand Theft Auto news, San Andreas is now available on the PS3 through the PSN store. It should be available worldwide by tonight, so make sure to check your store and see if it's in there, and then grab yourself the classic. And speaking of classics, the sad news is a classic part of this show, so let's jump on to the sad news. Sad news! <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> so today's sad news is a little bit odd, mainly because the new DLC has come out for Dead or Alive 5. And if you're wondering, what is this DLC? Well, it's all to do with Christmas, because they've released a DLC pack with Christmas outfits. And if you know anything about Dead or Alive, you know that the girls in it, yeah, they have some nice outfits. In Christmas time special, you'd think that they'd reveal some revealing clothing. You know, something like a red Christmas bikini or something creative like that. Well, sadly for your horny little ass, that's not what the developers have gone for. They've just gone for the traditional Santa's outfits. So if you were expecting to see the girls from Dead or Alive 5 in some little slutty clothing during Christmas, you're not going to have a nice holiday season. It's actually going to be pretty sad. Actually, no, you probably won't be since the internet's full of a lot of different things. Anyway, if you are wondering, the DLC is available today on the Xbox 360. That's why the game's in my disc tray and it's available on the PS3 next week. But yeah, that's it for the sad news. Now, let's move on over to the big news. Big news! So in some really random but big news, Angry Birds is getting a movie. Yes, Angry Birds is getting a damn movie. Not blockbuster games like Halo, Gears of War, Call of Duty, Bioshock, but Angry Birds is getting a movie. Now this movie is set to be out in the summer of 2016 and will be produced by John Cohen who produced Despicable Me. Also, Dave Mizell who was the executive producer behind Iron Man has signed on to the project of the Angry Birds movie. Now I have many questions about this game, like how the hell are they going to make a story about Angry Birds, but more importantly, will this game even be popular four years from now? Seriously, Hollywood just decided, hey, we're going to invest all this money into an Angry Birds movie, which is an iPhone game and not a game like Call of Duty or Halo or whatever the hell I did reference earlier, because those are blockbusters that have huge fan bases, which are going to make a sh load of money. But no, they decided hey, we're gonna go with Angry Birds because we're just idiots. Honestly, it just seems really stupid and I'm not feeling well today. I don't know why I'm getting upset about this. And I'm sorry to cut the show short, but as I have said many times during this episode, I'm not feeling that well. So now, Gorilla Man, please give me that question. Thanks, Grill Matt. Okay, guys, the question is, what game do you want most for Christmas and why? So get creative with your answer. Put it down below in the comment section. It could end up on the next show, but if you enjoyed today's video, make sure to smack the like button as always, because I'm Champ Chong Wax. This is Jeremy Howe, the answer to Grill Matt's previous question. <laughs>